Yo, yo, what is good, my good people? Welcome to Cocktails and Takeaways. It's episode eight, baby, and it's your girl, Madam Joyce, in the building. And we back, and it's another week, and we ready to go, baby. Of course, always, I have to introduce my guest. She was here, you guys were begging. You said, Joyce Sam, please. You said, Joyce. Joyce, we need her on. That's and right. it got too much. I said, oh, God, it's too much. You know, it was difficult to get her the first time. But I begged, I groveled. I, I, I even went to her house. I said, please, please, the people are begging me. I don't know what to do again. They won't let me sleep. But she's here, guys. It's Miss Dems. You already know. Hey! You already know. Oh my God, sis, first of all, you look so amazing in the pretty pink. You know, do you know what? I'm really loving pink these days, but I just never Honestly, wear it. It's very girly. Do you know what it is? I feel like lately I've been trying to tap more into my feminine. Mm. And I feel like. I think it was even you that asked me that question. You were like, if you could be your ultimate feminine self, what colour would she be? And I said, she's pink. She's pink! She's really pink. And not a hot pink, a nice, a nice baby, classy, this pink. yeah, th- that pink. Do you know what and I mean? you're rocking it. Oh, baby! You just need the, you just need a nice blonde, and then you've really you a really... nice blonde with like you know those um headbands. No, the glasses on the top. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, it's the avatar for me. Listen, I absolutely love it. But thank you so much for being here. And thank guys, you for having always, me. please pick up your drink. Get a drink. If you haven't got a drink, pause this right now. Get your drink. Get your okay, drink. guys, I haven't got this set up with all the umbrellas and that. But you know, it's alcohol. You know, it's the Bacardi. <laughs> we don't drink vodka here. It's Bacardi. So all no, my p- <laughs> we don't drink the drinks for the strong blood. Listen, I'm not a strong blooded girl. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm a pedestrian. Okay, so yeah, listen, the pedestrians get something light. If you know you're a strong blooded person, get that vodka and pour it all the way up. And we're here for it. So let's get it cracking. How was your week? Let's go. My week has been good, you know. Mm-hmm. We went out. We did enjoyment. We did enjoyment. We did. We, we did. did. We did. Um, I went to church, guys. Joyce took me to church. And yes. Honestly, your girl has been delivered. Like, no cap. Mm. No cap. Like, it, mm. I felt really good. Like, you know, sometimes I still have my moments where I feel a bit guilty for, like, you know. The doing, laugh, the things we do. You know, the worldly <laughs> things. But other than that, me and God, we're one, we're one accord. So. Honestly, no, sorry. First of all, God still loves you. And let me just say that you come to church with me was just such an amazing moment for me because I know the journey that you've been through. And I feel like, like spirituality for me is so important. And my relationship with God is like top priority. I feel like mm. when I fall off with my relationship with Christ, like I just don't feel myself. I just mm. feel like the energy is not there. I feel like Christ is my confidence. It's Christ. what keeps me going. And Christ. just being in, and being in a environment full of love, as well like the church i go to like people are just so nice people are just so welcoming you just feel like you just feel a peace there do you know what i mean honestly considering it was my first time i'm gonna be there again this sunday yeah we will be there after that and the week after that no seriously i don't get hooked to church like to churches like that you know Mm -hmm. because i always feel like sometimes you go to church and it's like bad energy this church made sense honestly that, that that's annoying because there are some churches yeah they're really on a judgment thing like they'll come they'll really come they'll be looking at you up and down because your skirt is is is, is knee high like i don't that's not what god is about and the thing is that's one thing i love when i went to my church like i was my pastor rocks the baddest kicks like jordan ones jordan falls on jordan understand? ones like he comes like he comes like like a like a real person mm. you don't feel like sometimes you feel christians are like here high and mighty mm. but that's not what it's about like you come into my church and you see everyone from all over the places you see girls with rainbow hair mm. you see girls like i love that i don't want to i don't want to be in a place where people are pretending on a sunday that they're yeah. per- perfect and then on the weekday they are doing let's get it pop you know the vibe like let's be real like we're all dealing with shit nobody is perfect Facts. but god still loves us and it's about allowing god to come into your life and and allowing him to be with you in that process of being and becoming a better person and that's on period that's on period paul speaking of process can mm. i just say yeah mm-hmm. i was watching your vlog i was watching your vlog <laughs> Let me tell you, yeah, that solo trip, yeah, looked so lit. Listen, the the best fun you can have is with yourself. 100%. No cap. 100%. No cap. Like, 
Guys, the type of fun that I had on that holiday, it wasn't even a joke. I was shaking my bum by myself. Yes! I was beating my face. I was wearing nice dresses that I know for a fact I wouldn't even wear to a club in mm-hmm. England. Mm-hmm. I'm walking around in bikini. Yes, hot I'm, pants. I'm, I'm, I'm swimming inside the pool. Yes, baby. I'm going to the beach. Mm. I'm going jet skiing. I'm going paragliding. Me, I jumped off mountain. Like, um, I, me. Saw, I screamed with you. When I saw, I said, hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> then the bastard then started spinning somebody in the air he even took us over the sea i thought i said hold on is it not the beach that we're going to he goes yeah but we're going to enter the sea first i said what you can enter i'm staying on land yeah, joke man no seriously i'm telling you I, I absolutely loved watching it and you know what yeah more people should do solo more people should do solo trips Honestly. stop waiting for people to get like you stop waiting for people to enjoy stop waiting for people to Facts. be on your level i promise you you will die there you would die there waiting for people to be on your level, waiting Thank for you. people to be what you're on. When you go on a solo trip, mm-hmm. you do whatever you want to do. If you decide to go and stay and sunbathe at the by the side of the beach mm-hmm. for the whole day, and that's what makes you happy, then machi, that's what makes you happy. When you're with other people, now, ah, oh, I beg we go do this. I beg we go do that. Or oh, you want to go and do this, and someone doesn't have money. <sighs> now, now the whole day has gone because you now have to sit down and do things that are free. No, on a holiday, you you, you, you want to do the fun thing, so you have to pay for that person. But you're angry the fact that you paid pay for, for the them. Person. Now the event, now the thing. Even if anything goes wrong, now you're you're now automatically angry. You're angry because did I, is it not me that fucking brought to you? Oh, yet? the worst one is you've now paid for the person, and the person's even complaining about the activity you paid for. No, seriously. Go, oh, Go do you know what? I have experiences with that. You Go know, home. I actually can't. Like seriously, people are really party poopers people i paid for you to come to the party because they don't have money <laughs> now on top of that on top of me paying for you i'm now in i'm now minus what i had because i paid for you and then you now have the audacity to complain brother go home don't fam. don't piss me off in fact you know what you fucking stay here i'll go home like seriously now, i'll go home bad energy can really stay far away like far where i'm at in life right now i only need positive energy yeah actual love you know sometimes there's some people where you just know that Okay, you know what? All right, this person seems genuine, but you don't have a genuine love for me. Mm. You're genuine in your deceits. Stop it. You're genuine in your hateration. <laughs> you don't love me. You don't. You're fake. Nah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I feel like there, there are some people in life that they might love you, but the, the new energy and the new person that you are you are now they're just not there they're just not yeah. with it like i feel like there's some people that i've had that you know at one point in my life they were the right person but then as you that. grow as you grow and you start to outgrow there are people that it's like you just find them irritated the person that you are chilling with for time you they'll be your nigga they'll be your nigga they're your rider all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's like what they're saying has no substance what they're doing doesn't make sense you're looking at them you're about your money you're about your hustle you're about your visions they're about their man them do you know boyfriend do you know what i think that's that's where there's like i can't be friends with girls where your main focus is just man Mm. is literally just man like cool I might say, yeah, I want a rich nigga. I want someone who's who's paid. Because we, we do. Because we do. And let me tell you something. I will <laughs> never downplay what I want yeah. out of this life because half of the things, sorry, not a half, all of the things I'm asking for, I can actually get myself. Let them know. Do you understand? My thing is, people are so quick to jump on you and be like, ah, oh, no, you're materialistic, da 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 da. Baby girl, baby boy please stay in your lane stay in your lane and my thing is if you're now becoming my friend mm-hmm. yeah and then i'm seeing that's literally all you're on i will distance i would exactly distance. if you're all listen there, there are some girls that all they know is 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 man and man and patty like and nah man you get to you get to a certain age where you as a woman you want more and the mm. thing is like for me i knew that i was gr- i was growing up when i didn't want to have those conversations anymore yeah. i want to talk about what are we doing to get to where we need to get to so that uh, having a rich man is an option it's not by force because there's some yeah. girls that have having a guy that has money is their is their end all because Facts. they would rather put the responsibility of being successful on another person mm. than becoming the success themselves mm. I don't need a man to have money. I have my own shit. Mm. But would I like an addition to who I already am? Hell Facts. yeah. But it's not something that is a necessity to me. Mm. And I feel like that's where a lot of women... I'm not going to say a lot of women because there are some real hustlers. Women are hustlers. Lately. Hustlers. Have you not noticed that 
Bare women have businesses. Yes, because we've been, the thing is, women have been having businesses. It just wasn't recognized. Because, yeah, you might have a man that's all corporate and that, but there are women that have been having uh, cooking businesses, food and catering businesses, childcare businesses, Mm -hmm. things that are seen as, like, obviously, we're more maternal in and we're good at, but women are actually profiting off the things that we are good at as women but we're not be we were never recognized unless it was within the women community mm. but now men are looking at and thinking raw girls are actually doing their thing and hell yeah we are we big bowlers don't get it twisted baby no cap i don't know i'm i'm even as a businesswoman myself i'm proud of us yes i am i'm so proud of us i just feel like we've come so far we have like Everybody is just lately. Uh, there's too many people. Like I, Im- I get inspired watching other people and their businesses. You know, mm. like I'll be seeing these women and then the promotion. The and also, have we not noticed that the standards of black businesses have also gone up? Yes, I have. Honestly, black businesses are catching up. The thing is, what because we're dominating. I feel we've b- because society has now started to appreciate the things we have and also try to monetize off it. But I'm gonna. That's another. Conversation. That's another conversation. We trying are to monetize like, off our culture. Sure. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna well, we will leave that. Mm. But now people are actually buying from us and appreciating us from our hair to our clothes Facts. because they want to have the sauce and the flavors that we have. Because that's all it is, it's flavor. Ah, it's flavor, baby. This skin, this is flavor. If you don't know, <laughs> this is flavor. Listen, don't get a taste, baby. <laughs> don't get a taste, baby. I know you want this dairy milk. <laughs> But honestly, can I just say it again, Solo Trip, amazing. Like, you're, the, you watching you grow as a friend is just honestly incredible. Like, Girl, I appreciate it. you. You guys get on a fucking plane, seriously. Don't wait for these silly, silly friends of yours that don't have money to, to, to be traveling. Like, if you don't have friends that have money, I'm not even going to say go and look for friends that have money because that's how you're going to find problems. But, yeah. <laughs> but what I will say is try to put yourself in places where you meet people of your level of your level and I, that's not even that let me just say this this might not necessarily be financially because a lot of people are trying to come on the come up we have a lot of girls listening to this that mm-hmm. might not have money mm-hmm. have friends that have the same mindset as you Fa- friends that have the same grind and motivation as you to want to do well friends that will support you in your business ventures friends that will not deter you from being great because there are some friends that come into your life and you want to start something and you want to do something and they're like oh um, i don't know if that's a good idea do you know if you don't <laughs> pack it that if you don't get out of here, my friend needs to go in the bin. bin. I had to, I had to throw away a friend, and it's crazy because I was friends with this girl for such a long time. Mm. And you know, one of the contributing factors to me not, um, like, for me having to end the friendship was because I realized in the whole time of me having my hair business, how many times did you promote me? Wow. Like, I realized I got so much love from strangers, people who don't know me. Joyce, if you know the way people support me that yeah. aren't that aren't jesus that aren't my um my friends my personal people and the love that they were giving me was so much and i'm realizing you that's my friend mm-hmm. like i've never even seen my flyer on your snapchat stop it i honestly and then then one day when i then brought it up it's like oh yeah but like i, I don't even have I don't even have followers like that. Like, oh, I only have 50 people on Snapchat. I said, even one of those 50 people could come and buy hair. It's not even about, even if none of the 50 people, it's the fact that you love me enough to support me. To support me. And I didn't experience that until I started this podcast Mm. because I'm always quite a private person this is the first time I've ever been quite public with something Mm. and I was seeing people that I would ride for I would see people that I would call to check on I'd see people that I would be there for them in a Mm -hmm. heartbeat you could not even say congrats you and the thing is you are watching you're watching my stories I see your view I see your view but you couldn't even say you know what Joyce well done and that really hurt me but then you come to the realisation as everybody says people who are strangers will support you more than people that know you and also people that are around you and have known you from your struggle times Mm -hmm. they they fucked with you because you guys were in the struggle together. Yeah. There was a shared... Uh, suffering. Mutual, there was a mutual you suffering. Know, mutual suffering, yeah, only bangs when both of you are suffering. Yeah. The moment that one of you wants to rise, that's when you now start feeling the animosity. You now yes. start feeling the negative vibes. Yeah. You, why don't you want me to grow? Yeah. And the thing is, I personally feel like 
where I'm at in life is let me get there support mm-hmm. me do you not think I'm now gonna come back and help you thank you but because you're so envious of where I'm going mm-hmm. you're now gonna come with your bad vibes I've experienced this I feel like sometimes I've noticed that people see other people see my light before I see it yes. now I'm glowing because I now see my light mm-hmm. that's why there's been a progression I don't know I no longer need people around me that you're envious how are you above me but you're envious of me of you exactly and that's the thing that's why it's so important you just said something i didn't see my light but other people saw my light that's why it's so important for you to love yourself and to be so self-aware because if people around you are not supporting you you need to learn to be your own fuel you need to be your you need to you need to love yourself enough to know, do you know what, yeah, there could be no person that support me, but I'm going to get to where I need to get Facts. to. Because if, if they don't believe in me, I believe in myself. Mm. If they don't trust me, I trust in myself. But when you when you feel like you need to have the affirmation on other people and you need to have the reassurance of others, mm-hmm. trust me, you're never going to do what you want to do because there are a lot of people in, in life and in and in your life and in my life that are, that told you, don't, oh, you don't think YouTube is good for I you. I don't. Uh, oh, this podcast, I'm not sure. There are family members that told me that I don't think you're good at speaking. And they lied. And you know what? They lied. They lied. Because we here, baby. Thank you. I'm going to say thank you to my mother because she's an amazing woman and she gave birth to me. <laughs> and that's on. Period. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for loving I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for the growth. I'm here for the success. Guys, if you don't know, get to know me and my girl. Me and my Joycey baby, Come we're going to be successful. Yeah, as yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. As I believe it. I'm here for it. The energy, like, I've... The moment I started putting respect on my name mm-hmm. was the moment things started to change for me. Yeah. And I feel like just all the way around. Yeah. You will never forget about my name. You will never. They will never forget about you. Why? Because we are stars. God. And you know what? Let me tell you something. You know that energy? It's not because we're not we're not the best. Facts. There are people greater than us. True. There are people smarter than us. That's true. There are people prettier than us. That's true. But what they don't have is they don't have the motherfucking drive. Thank you. They don't have the hunger. Thank you. They don't have the f- they don't have the self affirmation fuel that we have to get to where I know we need that's to be. right so let me say you don't have to be the best but you have to motherfucking think you're the best exactly you, I, I know I'm not the best I know there are many other people that have done podcasts there are many other people that have done but you know what I'm gonna tell myself every day that I'm gonna fucking get to the top because that's guess right. what I'm gonna make sure I motherfucking do thank and you I'm gonna make sure you get to the motherfucking top thank you and that's what that's our motherfucking period sis period poo Woo! Oh my god, why was that so deep? I love that. I I feel like there's there's certain moments. I some, certain I moments. always feel like when things come to mind, you don't know who you're who you're speaking to, mm. who you're preaching to, who this is now this word is gonna change their life. Even if it's one person. Congratulations. Congratulations. Today's the sis. day that you change. Today is the day that you need honestly, co- and you know the word confidence? Mm-hmm. I feel like we've heard it from young but we, i don't think i've fully understood it until this year wow yep confidence confidence sells everything let me tell you something yeah you could have two parties to go to mm-hmm. one can be fucking lit one can be dry as fuck mm. but if that person who wants you to come to that dry party has used confidence to swindle you into believing nah i'm telling you that motive is gonna be so lit what did it there you will drop that lip party and you will go to the you dead will party. Go, seriously, hundred percent. Yes, you will be angry when you get there, but that's not the point. That's, that's the fact it's, you came. It's the fact that you came. The yeah. confidence sold you yeah. on snaking this person and going to this one. Mm-hmm. Confidence in you need confidence in everything. Confidence to move to people, whether you're a boy, whether you're a girl. Yeah. Confidence to get that job. Yeah. Confidence to meet new people. Mm-hmm. Confidence to go on that solo trip. Confidence to even get that investment from the bank. Yeah. Confidence to get investment from investor. Yeah. You need confidence in everything confidence to start the business and confidence, confidence to see the business yeah. through yeah confidence to start the business confidence to see the business through even when it looks like it doesn't work yeah. out and literally the the whole confidence is that telling is that voice telling yourself that you know what i'm the motherfucking shit for me that's what confidence is confidence is me even when i don't feel my best i tell myself i'm the motherfucking shit and even when the even when life is looking like shit i'm telling myself i'm still the shit it's confidence mm. knowing that yes situations may not um the current situation may not reflect what you want situations will arise in our lives but you gotta be smart about it Sella. 
vibration, hey, yeah, with the thighs, uh, I sacrifice, but I do love in the sweet daughter in my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, cool, now let's get to the hot topics of the week, guys. We are moving on swiftly, but we hope we really that really helps someone. Honestly, I felt like I helped yeah. someone today. That Facts. was a release. But hot topics of the week, I wanted to talk about this week. Um, I was on a TL and I saw something that happened with Amber Rose this week. Sadly, went on a big fucking rant. So Amber Rose went on a big fucking rant this week because sadly she got cheated on and she was just having a expressive moment about her ex-boyfriend and she said that he had cheated on her with 12 women how many people in a football team is it 12 uh, it's a, mm. 11 anyways it's a num- it's a double digit number it he is. cheated on her with a whole fucking football team of women and she was basically like she's done now for me it's not the fact that he cheated it's the fact that she publicly said he cheated even though it was a private thing. I, like, that's two that's two types of disgrace for me. I don't know about you. The, the, the first disgrace was you cheated on me. Mm-hmm. The second disgrace was a self-inflicted one. Because I personally, if someone cheated on me, I'm not going on social media to read the telephone cheated on me. Do you know why I feel like she probably had to? Go ahead. 12 women. 12. It was going around. The whole community. Her, you know, let me say something. <sighs> this is um, the thing. I think what I've learned is sometimes when you're in a situation, it feels like everybody knows. Mm. But the whole world doesn't know you. It's true. Yes, she's Amber Rose, but the whole world does not know who she is. She who she is. Maybe there's like the majority, mm-hmm. but not the whole world. So me that didn't know that he was being he was cheating on her with twelve women. Oh, now you motherfucker. Now I know. know. Now you know. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Now people in England know what happened in America, mm. and she maybe everywhere she was going, people were coming up to her to come and tell her, oh, you know your man is cheating, your man is cheating, or maybe they're going somewhere and then they're all whispering, da 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 da. So now she's just like, fuck it, it's out in the open. But what pissed me off is the fact that. Did you see the interview he done? Oh my God. Not only did he admit to cheating, he then confessed that he said, yeah, like obviously I've been found out before, but she forgave me and now. You see, I always ask, why do men always want to kill us? They want to disgrace us. Like men sometimes, like, it's so sad. I hate that I always have to talk about, fuck, every fucking week. Do you know we what? Do you, think, do you think I actually want to continuously insult men on this podcast? I, I, it just, it, it something always comes up and I'm just like, brother, like, why? Why do you guys do this to us? I've always wondered why you, <laughs> you men have the potential <laughs> to be so great. Do you understand? Some of you are so good looking, so sexy, but so yet sexy. you choose to be dickheads why would you like why do that why can't you just not cheat why can't you just be that faithful why can't you just be everything that we need you to be why do you have to be like this i don't understand don't don't destroy my don't destroy my listeners ears or don't destroy my listeners ears no but on the real like it's the like frustration granted like why is it that 12 women and on top of that no do you know what he cheated she said it rather than publicly looking somewhat remorseful you then went he was laughing. He was laughing about if it. If I punch you in your teeth. <laughs> and you know what, <laughs> made me the most, I what made me the most angry about it is the fact that I know for a fact this guy... Listen, before Amber Rose, you never would have even secured any t- any sort of 12 women to even he was. Cheating. He's not that fine. You're not... You're, he's, I'm sorry. He's, he's not fine. He's not paying like that. He's not paying like that at he's all. Not, I, I can give you an accolade, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're somewhat good looking, but you're not paying, you're not paying like, like that, that. Nah, he for you to be cheating on a whole Amber Rose, number one. Number one. Number two, the fact that you're even there doing guy, you're laughing with he your man He was man. laughing. I, you know, it was the laughing I, for me. I hate the bravado that guys come with when talking with other guys. Like, you're trying to downplay my thing. But these times, I know for a fact, if she dropped receipts, he's dead begging. Please. I'm sure he begs. I'm sure he I beg you. I want you to again. You know when they start crying? I'm sure he cried. And that's the thing. Men, they they love to drop a tear when they do something wrong, you know? (laughs) No, no. They love it. They love to drop a tear. Do you know how many many times in life I've had a man come and beg me, be crying on their knees? You're a disgrace. on the knees. It's the knees for me. And you know what's funny? They will cry. They will be on their knees. And then they'll go and do it again. For me, don't ever let me hear that after that crying and begging you was doing, you don't want to go and do shakara to somebody else. No, I'll, lose it. 
I'll lose it. Seriously? I'll lose it. Seriously? I'll you lose are it. crying, you are tearing, you are begging me, you are texting me saying, please, please, please. You please, now want to do guy for the man, them. Don't piss me off. You better tell your guys that you was there begging with Teddy Bear. If I send them. Teddy Bear and Flower. Your Teddy Bear and Flowers at my doorstep, knocking on the door, begging, saying, please, please open the door. And I wasn't opening the door. With the food. With the food in the hand, with the takeaway freshly freshly brought from Just Eat. Please. Don't piss me off. Please don't piss don't me off. do that. But nah, it was the whole his his interview pissed me off more. And he was like, oh yeah, you know she's still the mother of my child. She's still my she's best. She's still friend. my best friend. I, still, I got to me. hell with you and your best friend. To hell, <laughs> to hell. <laughs> you ain't wicked man. He was. What do you mean? I'm your best friend. If if I'm really your best friend, is this how you treat me? He doesn't have the right to say. Like the whole interview pissed me off. Like there was no remorse. There was no like genuine care for her emotions the fact that she was gonna see that the, the fa- fact that he even done the interview was the most disrespectful thing disrespectful. because you weren't getting interviews before me honestly i never knew him until he was dating Amber Rose. Do? i don't know what he does he's no what career line are you in that like, you even you even excuse me i'm even sure the money you was using is either those girls were thirsty because i know you weren't taking none of them out on a date but let's let's talk about why they're thirsty they're thirsty because you're amber rose's man man you know some mm-hmm. girls would thrive off the fact that they slept with amber rose's man like some girls they what they like the idea of stealing oh yeah i could steal your man yeah I could, they, there's actually girls that thrive off that they would like to steal someone's mind so they could say that. Stealing to certain girls, what they're not understanding is you stealing, you stealing a next girl's man doesn't make you, it it, it doesn't put you on her level. You know, sometimes in your mind now, you can Mm -hmm. see it as, okay, cool. I took Amber Rose's man. So now that means me and Amber Rose, the same attraction he has for Amber Rose, he has for me. Like and lust are two different things. Mm -hmm. He will fuck you because you have a pussy. Have you? S- I don't want to say that. I was gonna say something, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I don't want to say it. How can you cancel somebody that's cancelless? I don't want to say it because no, I don't want to say it. I, like there, are, d- I can't. Oh, okay. I- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm speechless. But on a real, like guys would fuck anything. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Men Facts. will fuck anything. anything. So don't fool your. I remember there was one time I was on my little sister's podcast. I mean, I was on my little sister's Snapchat. Mm. And one of her friends, Say No Names, was in bed with a UK rapper. Hmm. And she was snapping it like it was Drizzy Drake. And when I mean, okay, the UK rapper is doing very, very well. He's a drill artist. Okay. But it wasn't enough for me to be, for enough to be snapping in the bed like, oh yeah, I just fucked. Da, 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 da. Who's, who's the UK rapper? I don't want to say it. It, it is a UK. It is a UK rapper. Is he is a rapper? He's a very big one, but it wasn't enough. He's not fine. He's not. He's not fucking Tion Wayne. He's not Tion Wayne. He's not Tion Wayne. He's not fine. He's not a fine boy. He's not a fine boy. He's not a fine boy. But she was proper snapping, and the guy he was in the the guy was at in the back. Like I just thought, fuck. Why do I feel like that is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> It's not Russ. It's not Russ. Okay, okay. It's definitely okay. not Russ. But it, the whole thing was just shame. Uh, the whole thing was just shameless. But g- girls would actually they like they want to say that oh yeah you know I fucked this person I fucked this person but it's not I don't know and even in TikTok have you seen those body count body count things where girls are like dun, 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 they freeze and then they're counting all the people that they fuck but I don't know I just feel like. I feel like it's more of a hype for a guy to say he fucked a certain girl than a the girl, girl say, say that he fucked some guy because some girls are stingy with the kitty cat. Oh, babe, do you know what I mean? You know, so it's only a f- it's only a flex. It's only a flex for a girl to do that if that current guy has a girlfriend. Exactly, or it's true. a long term girlfriend. Long, it's true, a long term girlfriend. I would say it's. It, it, I mean, it's a flex for them. I don't think it's cool, but. It is what it is. Anyways, Amber Rose, we're giving you virtual hugs, man, because Facts. shit, like, honestly, we've we've all been there. I've been cheated on. You've been cheated on? Babe, let's not. I've been cheated on, and then the guy came to come and beg me and did it again. But anyways, anyways, we won't talk about him because he's in the bin like the rest of them. But guys, next conversation. Next conversation. Uh, this week, sadly, I was actually quite sad to see this. Um, a really big um, UK comedian, Sean Locke, dies from cancer, age 58. Um, yeah. He was eight out of ten cats, and he's quite a prominent UK comedian, and I really, really like him. I really, really like him. I love UK comedy, like generally, like the English UK comedy, like get it right. Uh, well, all like Mo Gilligan and them, man. Yeah. Okay, so you have Mo Gilligan, and then you have like people like Jimmy Carr. Um, who else is there? Jimmy Carr. You have 
I'm sorry. You see, my problem is um, you only know the black. I only ones. know the black ones. The I'm so here for my people. I don't know the evil ones. Wait, I'm trying to even think off the top of my head who's there. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it. There there are people. <laughs> there are people. Jimmy Carr, mm. Ricky Gervais. Tell me you don't know Ricky Gervais. Oh, uh, Ricky. No, you don't know who Ricky Gervais is. Nah, no, Ricky. No. Ricky no, Gervais. Man like Ricky, you know. No, shut up. No. Ricky Gervais is like literally. Ricky's my guy, you know. From ends. Honestly. Swear down. Swear down. Grew up together. Honestly. You back fucking in fool. The... You fool. You bloody fool. No, I had a Ricky in my school. I'm sh- but it wasn't Ricky Gervais now, was it? It might have been. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, Ricky Gervais is really, really is 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 um he's the one that did um he's the one that did the UK office, and he is very very big in America now. But he's a very very good comedian. I feel like I might know him actually, and he has this sort of sarcastic. Bite. Yes, yeah, he's yeah, very yeah, sarcastic. Yeah. Ah, I told you, my guy Ricky now. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, no, I do love UK comedy. I feel like our comedy is very different to like US because ours is very mm. sarcastic. Very. Ours, is, like, it, it, UK comedy represents UK generally. Everything is very under undertone rude. Yes. Like, you see, Americans, they're just like, oh, yeah, and her pussy was shit. Like, they're just straight up with it. Us, us is very. You have to. You have to have a certain sort of intellect to understand. Yes. And those are the top top comedians. You say something and it has a double meaning. A double meaning. That's why when those teachers used to tell me off in school, it used to pain me because I knew it was an insult. It's a very hostile. How can you slap me with words? It's just there to slap. I feel like English people are very good at being indirectly rude yep. so that it doesn't directly come up as rude so you can't report it or you can't say this person was rude but i knew what you meant, you meant. <laughs> i knew what you meant you t- it's to the point where even when you're explaining it to someone you would have to give the backstory yeah because, <laughs> because when you just say it they're just like that doesn't sound rude but i like there was an underlying should i give an example go ahead it could be like for instance someone is sitting at the bus stop and maybe they've eaten one donut yeah mm-hmm. maybe they're a bit on the on the plus side and then the woman next to him be like oh you eating another one <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> what's your fucking business? What's your business? What's yeah, your what business? do you mean? I might, you know, some and you know, it is the Nigerian in me would then sit back and be like, So, what exactly did you mean by and I'm eating another one? Can somebody eat? Oh, no, I was just asking. Yeah, oh, like, no, that's the thing. You'd be direct about it. And they're like, Oh, no, I, oh, just, no, I, was, I, was, I was just asking asking. because obviously you ate one. So, I was just thinking, Oh, you're gonna oh, eat you another one. Did. Scary because that's exactly what they do. That's what they do. But now they've changed the meaning, the meaning. of what they said. But you knew you, what, you, what they you, were saying. You knew what they were saying. You're a. Let me know. God will, God will bless you. God Jesus. is watching you. He's watching this situation. He knew what you meant. Even if I can't, he knew, he knew. I knew, <laughs> and they knew. Facts. And that's the end of it. Shit. And the police will know. <laughs> <laughs> On, you know, I've reached that age in life where anything, I will snitch. Do you know what? Let's talk about that because I feel like this whole the the snitching culture, the anti snitching culture in the black community is why most of us get fired. Shit, because all Period. the English people they're ready to like. Do you know it's so weird? It wasn't until I had my first job that I had to. I realized I had to get that s- no snitching thing out of my system yep. because bitches be reporting. Report because in this life you come first. Everyone else is second. Yeah. yeah everybody lives in a world yeah mm-hmm. of this is my world Everyone main character else yeah main character system it. yeah Th- thank syndrome, you yeah main character syndrome so my thing is you tr- that you're trying to have that oh no but what runs in your society doesn't run in their society it doesn't they will snitch on you they will snitch on us so just like that if you stress me i will snitch police <laughs> <laughs> if you come for me i will snitch hello nine 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 I'm stressed. If you disrespect <laughs> me, I will snitch. Yeah, snitch. Because no one has time for that. You think, you know, longer the days where I'll come out and be fighting. Hey, I'm coming to come and fuck you up. Who's still fighting these days? Oh, I'm calling the police. Peop- no, people are still fighting. We don't it's fight It's up anymore. until recently I realized that I don't fight. You I will can- call 999 and report your ass. And me and the federale yeah. we are we are like one Amigas. we have an understanding yeah. we are good friends do you know why because in the court of law they want to see evidence they will say when this was going on why didn't you report it you will feel like bread i will snitch snitch 
Honestly, no, because I feel like a lot of situations I've got in is because I've not I've not reported it and someone's yep. reported me. Yep. And it used to get me mad because you think that people have the same moral as you. And I'm thinking, like, especially in work situations, this is my mind. Listen, we're all here to do a job. Yeah. We all have bills to pay. We all have bills to pay. If I'm reporting you and because of my report, you're the reason that you that you're f- I'm the reason that you're fired and then you can't feed your children mm. and then because you can't feed your children one of them ends up in a life of crime because they have to, they have to start paying uh, selling drugs because <laughs> and your daughter is now doing prostitution because because you don't have a job because I snitched on you shit I'll feel bad and that's how mm-hmm. I think that's why a lot of times when I was growing up working I didn't report people but they were so ready so quick to report you so quick to report you let me tell you so something. now i'm just like you should yeah. i say the ones HR? that used to pay the one that used to pay yeah. me yeah cool i'm i'm under the impression that white people will report you that's mm-hmm. just what white people do mm-hmm. don't be angry at it it's just a way of life mm-hmm. yeah when i'm now seeing the black people come and report they got no because they know don't be mad because they got it because listen, we're in a work set and I'm not your fucking friend. Let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. I'm I don't like white I don't like black people that are extra mean to black people in the workplace. But you don't talk to Sally like that. You don't, don't talk do, to Sally like that. Don't, don't, do, don't do that to me because I'm, you think well we well, think we are we are me. Listen, I will stitch on your ass, Adam. <laughs> uh, Ade, you think we are mates? And the thing is, that's what hmm. they do. And, and the thing is, I've I've had that before where because somebody thinks that we're from the same place, especially like when I work with Nigerians, I work with Ghanaian people. Oh they're like, my oh, God. my sister, my brother, I'm brother. I'm not your sister or brother. You're not my mommy. You're not, not my auntie. Not you telling me to go do your work and me do my work plus your work because you don't think we're from the same country. Nah. It's going to run. Baby Listen. girl, I get paid the, se- the same seven ninety nine that you are getting paid. Fam, brother, brother. Tossing, if you don't get your ass, so you think you're my auntie. If you don't, I'm, I'm like washing that toilet. Listen, they were like, oh, boy. They would say, oh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm old enough to be your mommy, but you're not my mommy. You're not my mum. My mum is in her house enjoying her no, life, you and you're auntie. here with me. No, you're my sister. Oh, my cousin. So, bitch. I co-sign snitching. I don't give a fuck. I feel like the black community, we need to be pro-snitch. Pro-snitch. Pro-snitching. I am, you try it, I'm snitching. Facts. You try any dumb shit, I'm calling HR. Thank you. Listen, get out the feeling of, oh no, we oh, can't no, snitch. Allow because it. they will be the first people to snitch on the your moment, ass. The moment you fuck up, dead. Emails. Hello. I just want, listen, they're ready to call your, they, they will call your full government name in that email and say what you did you know at what? the time you I did even, it. I'm even here for cool if you're black i feel like bum lick all the way bum lick your way to the top mm-hmm. bum lick your way to the top like i feel like we're carrying we carry too much pride into situations with white people white people run this country we are mm-hmm. in there do you know, i like i like sometimes i'm i'm so let me call a spade a spade this is england this is england I mean? it's english if people, we really yeah. if we really go back to the history of it a lot of us we migrated here this yeah. was a white land. Mm-hmm. As we have now come here, they are still, it's clear, the evidence is clear. Racism, even down to football, is there. It's there. My thing is, yeah, we, we can fight it, and I'm, I'm here for fighting it, but also make your life easier. Mm-hmm. Get to the top and then fight it from the top. Yeah. That's how you make changes. Yeah. Don't come and be fighting with, 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 um, 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 Kirsty or, or Kirsty or HR, you don't have any power because you're still you have no you have no power mm-hmm. why are you fighting with these people come together bum lick them bum lick them you not overtake and then you make the changes listen it's the you bum lick and you'll be flinging bum lick fling bum lick fling because like for that, because to be honest I feel like men are better than doing that than women I feel like a lot of mm. men men know how to use men very very well yeah very very well they will be pally pally though and the thing is even if the guy is a complete dickhead like I've seen some people work with some men that are absolute bastards but because they have something that the guy because the, the person has something that they need they will do pally pally they will for even if the guy is a waste man but girls we can't do that listen one girl oh yeah, I don't like how she was looking at me I don't like her bag okay I don't like her but they don't understand that there are people that you need in this world that you don't like for that season like they just haven't got that at that time I feel like a lot of that also comes from your vision. Mm. Where do you see your life being? Let me tell you something, yeah? If you believe you're going to make it to the top mm-hmm. without bum licking someone... I don't even like to say it, bum licking, but... I call it what it is. I <laughs> see, you, you lick that bum. <laughs> you, get, you will lick that bum. You lick that bum. Mm-hmm. Certain people you cannot stand. Their behaviour is, is class. 
Lass. Oh, I like that word. Come on. That's a good Their word. Their behavior is so wishy washy. But so you you firm it because you understand what your goal is. Then I'm not saying you bum lick and then that's it. No, you bum lick and then when you reach that top, when you've gotten to the place that God has placed you, Maji, make the changes. Mm-hmm. So you are now, you're breaking that generational curse for other people. Mm. You're making it easier so that other people don't have to go through the bum licking that you had to go through. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? I don't believe in shared suffering just because you suffered, someone else should suffer. Mm-hmm. Maybe your calling was to get there so you can make things easier for and other people. And help the person, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I, I feel like everyone, we all go through things for a reason, man. It's true. Right, guys, we're going to go into the next segment. we got Dilemmas with Miss Dems today. I'm so excited. First of all, thank you so much for everyone that has come and just sent their questions. Like, I was saying to my sister, I was like, she was looking through it because I actually haven't seen the questions. This is the first time I'm going to be looking at them so that we can be surprised together. But it's a thing where she was like, fam, people are struggling. <laughs> she was like, y'all are struggling, like, really, really bad. But you know what? We're here to help you. We're here to get shit together. So we're going to go through the questions. We're going to answer are as much as possible. Are you reading them out to me? Yeah, I'm going to read them out. Well, I, I haven't seen them, so I'm going to read them with so. you. Okay. So, obviously, shout out to my sister as well for picking the questions as well because she's so fucking cool. I said, pick the best ones, and then she picked them, and then, yeah, we move. Cool. <laughs> my mom hates my boyfriend because of his tattoo. What do I do? <sighs> Your mom hates... Your boyfriend because of his tattoos. Because of his tattoos. I mean, that's a that's 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 your mom's personal problem. I think I think the mistake that she made is that why did she not come? But is it like tattoos? Like he's up and down, tattooed, or is it like a sleeve? Because if it was a sleeve, then he was stupid. Should have covered it up. Again, that's your mom's personal. It's exactly problem. it's your mom's personal problem. Because if you like you like yo. At a certain point, you need to understand. It also depends on her age. She didn't put her age there because mm-hmm. if she, if you're anything under eighteen, you still have to listen. You do. I, do you know what I mean? In in Nigerian society, anything under twenty five, you must listen. You understand? But I mm-hmm. personally feel like it's a personal problem. You, you're the person that's gonna date who you're gonna date. Exactly. Your mom's you, not gonna be there. The thing is, mothers want mothers want men who are packaged. What packaged men are also very damaged men. Oh, word, word, word. Packaged word. men are also very dysfunctional most men who are top class high value men are misogynists and they're also very they're big gaslighters as well Fa- oh it's true most of the m- most of the guys that i know that are the all m- oh, perfect man that mummy wants are fucking sociopaths so it's a thing where yes he might have tattoos but that doesn't mean he's a bad person he could be an amazing guy an amazing but mommy wants to look at the outwards pers- pers- perspective because she's scared of what aunties are gonna say in church Facts. but you know what mom respectfully fuck yourself respectfully mom i love you mom respectfully her <laughs> mom not my mom but her mom respectfully fuck yourself yeah. love who you want to love my good sis anyways let's go to the next one shit I think I'm falling for my man's boy. What should I do? He's just so yum and he's much kinder to me than my man. (laughs) That is too unfortunate. Don't let your boyfriend stop you from finding your Your husband. husband. (laughs) Don't let your boyfriend. That is a mad thing. Fam, can you imagine your friend, your man's friend is nicer to you you know them ones where you went to the you went to the party. Let's just say they met at a party. They mm. were in a group of boys. The spirit of God was moving. They said today you're gonna to find your boyfriend. You because of the alcohol, you're looking. The eyes is blurry. The Holy Spirit is saying this one, this one. You're now saying oh this one, and you fucks it. Now you've gone to pick the the wrong guy. The wrong one. Now the, your husband because of the alcohol. The the real husband is. Bruv. Do you know what I think she should do? I think actually find out if the guy is feeling you too, and if he Toxic. is if he is willing to lose that friendship because that's what's gonna happen. It will hundred percent. And yeah, you know I mean, are you willing to you lose this friendship with Adam to come and be with a fine babe like me? That's what you need to. Establish. It's true. That's what Jade Pierce's man did. Jade Pierce. Yeah. So <laughs> Jade Pierce, the influencer, was going out with one guy, hmm. and that was his friend. Now the boyfriend that she has. It, is that was the friend of her ex boyfriend, but like us, but they're together and they're in love and they're happy and mm. the, and the deadbeat is in the bin. Mm. So listen, don't let your don't let your boyfriend, your boyfriend stop, you from, stop you from finding yes. your husband. Enjoy yourself, baby. You you go, girl. Tell us how it goes when you when you when you when you do that. I'm screaming. Next question. 
<sighs> so, oh God. Is it a mad thing? So I've been dating this guy. My mom told me that she had a dream. <laughs> and now I'm not sure if he's the right one for me. <laughs> Do you know what? To hell with... Do you know what? I can't even say to hell. Not to hell because my mom, know, be, my, my, my mom mom be dreaming, you know. You know my mom... I'm not gonna lie. Every relationship I've been with, been in, yeah. My mom told me that it wasn't gonna work out, and they never did. Now you have, now you're as a single in here with me. <laughs> shit. Now I'm single as a Pringle. What a shame. That's it. That's a great. That's a great damn shame. That's what a shame. Any boys that want me, just slide into my DMs. Fam, you know I'm tired of begging as well. Like fam, if it comes, it comes. I can't come and die. <laughs> I can't actually come ah, and die. Listen, slide into my DMs. Honestly, but mommy be really dreaming sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, you're doing... There was a time where my mom... And I was so shook, bruv. She was like, joy San, I had a dream that you were God's pregnant. Listen, if you're pregnant, if you get pregnant, don't have any abortion or no, just give the baby to me. I said, yeah. You know, my mom had the... S- Joyce, bef- Joyce, before God, my mom had the same exact dream. What you just Bearing said. Bearing in mind, I weren't even having sex. I said, fam, am I the next Mary? Yeah. I said, Mary Magdalene, have you come for me? Jesus, have you come for me? Ah! I was like, I weren't even having sex. So don't have the... I that said, is scary. No, I'm not going to lie. Fair. You know and you know, I was shook, thing. fam. Brother, I was shook. I don't know why I was shook because I wasn't even having wow. sex. But I was shook. You know, to this day, that's why I always get scared of like, oh, cool, if I'm having unprotected sex and like I get pregnant, like, t- I'm sorry, any pregnancy before the age of 27, it's getting gone. I don't, I, honestly. I'm throwing that shit in the bin. No. I'm sorry. I wouldn't allow it. I'm so sorry. Anything under the age of 27 is going in the bin. Do you know what? I've ne- I, I don't believe in abortion. Babe, I, neither do I, but anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anything under twenty seven gotta get gone. Honestly, I oh fam, I, I've what, never had one. I pray I never have one. Yeah. but bro, I ain't trying to hear it. Brother. What you know to get pregnant right now? I'm. I don't even know how these young mums do it. Like I, whenever I see a young man, I have to applaud You have to them. call for them. But nine times out of ten, they've got supportive families. It's true. From what I've seen anyways. I mean, to be honest, even I've seen some women that don't have supportive families and they're still amazing mothers. Like single parents, single single women are just, but then I see the struggle. I see how difficult Fam, it some is. Some of them are, so, I've, I've, and then you know what it is? I'm, I'm one of these people that loves to watch them documentaries on YouTube, yeah, mm. where you see about like um, young and pregnant, or blah, blah, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, I just, I, I couldn't not right now like i think my mental i'm only just trying to get my mental to where i want it to be that where that sweet spot that sweet spot to now then come and have a child you've now got to do it like i really feel like my life is stressful enough to add a child you know how much people are paying for nurseries yeah the nurseries you know you can be paying off. 1500 every month every month Bro. every month just these for, nannies just for them to be living around. nannies au pairs they're making bread they're making bread bank looking after other people's children that's a whole job Mm -hmm. people don't realize when you decide to have a child don't think you're having a child just with the guy like that my g you've now created a whole life that life that life is dependent on you 100 percent i'm sorry no 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 anyways go to next question swiftly i've been going out with my (sighs) honestly guys like guys I've been going out with my best friend's ex and I don't know how to tell her about it without her getting upset and possibly cutting me off. Before you drag me, it's been over three months since they broke up and she broke up with him. So that's why you had to go there. You know what? People ask questions and, you know, respectfully, people ask questions knowing what they're doing is bad, Mm. but still wanting some sort of hopeful affirmation for someone else to tell them that they're right. Because if you knew what you was doing was okay, why have you not told her? Facts. Because you know that what you're doing is not right. That's why you haven't said anything. And now you're in my Ask FM, so wanting me to defend you so you can sleep. And now you will not sleep. No rest for the wicked. No rest for you. are a dead to bitch. <laughs> Respectfully, you are dead. Hold on. Do you know what? Your you know best what? friend. Your best friend. Your dog. Your homie. Let me give. Let me give her an answer. Maybe just a stroke. Yeah. Stroke her ego is small. All right, sis. So this is what you do. Yeah. You have a conversation with the friend. Yeah. But you say, like, 
I'm not gonna lie, I saw your ex at a party, da 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 da, we was both drunk. Hold on, we was both drunk, yeah. And like, the type of conversation we had, it was a deep conversation and I feel like I'm feeling him a little bit. You just, then you see her Debbie, reaction. how are you fucking, what? what? No, no, because, this, let me say something, some people actually go through this. So my thing is, to, in, in, cause you're gonna, you have to confess, period. I'm not saying don't confess, you're gonna confess. But I say you confess in stages. So just say you're feeling him a little bit and you actually wanna get to know him. You guys haven't been together for three months and I actually feel like there's something there. Would you be upset if, me and him take it further. If she says, you know what, do you ah, think? Ah, yeah, I'm cool. Nah. If she says, nah, there's no way. You have to confess, you know what, I'm not going to lie, I've been seeing I mean, him. come on. Like, the end of the friendship. Come. So, basically, what you're telling me is that when he was my man, you were there looking, doing the item, and thinking, mm, he's looking cute, he's looking... Like, that type of shit, I don't fuck with. I don't like, fuck you, with either. Of all the men, there be- are 7 billion people in Stu, this world. did you world. have to go for my one? Why did you have to go for my ex? Bruv, you could have done his brother. You could have even done his daddy. Yeah, that's a bit weird, <laughs> but you could have done it. You went for him. Specifically. And now, for you didn't even give him one year. Three months. What? Do you know what three months is? Yeah, three months is kind of close. Three months. Bear in mind, you spend the first month crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you spend about at least, you spend about the first three months getting Fam, over. So she's probably just kind of gotten a, Meanwhile... Now, all of a sudden, you're together. No, I don't fuck with that, bruv. I don't fuck with that. I'm, I don't co-sign it. I don't like it. And I, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <sighs> Do you want me to read that? <laughs> read it out because it's chaotic. All right. You can read it out because I don't have anything to say. I have a... <laughs> Alright, I have a Jamaican boyfriend and I'm scared to suck his uncut dick. Any advice of how to get him to circumcise himself? <laughs> I know this is from my young one. Let me read that one more time because I had to laugh. I have a Jamaican boyfriend and I'm scared to suck his uncut dick. Any advice on how to circumcise himself? Baby girl, you need to break up with that man. She said no. It's the, it's the I'm scared for me. <laughs> You have to throw that man she in the said, bin. She said I'm scared. <laughs> I don't blame her. Have but you ever have you ever seen an uncircumcised penis? I have. I, I've seen one. Babe, it's not nice. You have to pull it down. She said bitch. It's I don't want to comment on this. <laughs> Let me if whoever's gonna be triggered can be triggered. I don't, do you know what it is? Okay, cool. Dicks come in shapes and sizes. Oh, do you know what it is? We're Nigerian women. So we're used we, to circumcise. We're used to circumcise. Yeah. People who are because I remember there was one time I was in college yeah, and I offended bare people. I was like, oh, who's... I said, oh, I'm circumcised. And literally there was like six men and they're like, oh, I'm not circumcised. I'm not circumcised. It's because we're Nigerian women. We're very used to uncircumcised, nice, nice and clean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But bare out pe- people that are not Nigerian, i.e. our Caribbeans, English yeah. people. Yeah. They don't have circumcised dicks. So if he's... I that, think they need to stop doing that. To be honest, oh, do you know what? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I know it might offend some people, but circumcision I, is a cosmetic thing, so it's not something that you have to do. But I say it's a lot cleaner statistically. There was even one I told you about that Channel Four thing I was watching, and like when they don't clean this the the foreskin, if they get this cheesy stuff, it's, right? and it nah, smells. That's, that's actually fucks. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody has their preference. My preference is based on my culture. Me like my nice and I like nice and smooth penis yeah <laughs> i don't want to go there and be rolling your thing <laughs> rolling it all the way back just so i can i will vomit i will vomit and it's not gonna be because i ain't got no magic your thing is rank go and cut it off baby girl you can't get him to cut it Th- off that's the thing Frame listen the my 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 stance is this never make a man be who you want to be, to be find yeah. a man that already is yeah if you know you want circumcised don't be begging him to cut it in his grown man age he's been living like danny yeah. likes it throw that man in the bin and find you someone with a snip you dig and that's all i have to say on the matter because that's too fucking lol l o l but okay just to let you know that lol was spelled (laughs) e-l-o-e-l cool hey joyce and demi my dilemma is i'm sis the grammar (laughs) sis 
Hey, Joyce and Demi. My dilemma is I've, I'm not and I've never been on a date or kissed or asked or asked out by a guy. Mm. So I've become very insecure since my friends are always in new talking stages each month. How can I build confidence and start attracting men and start dating properly? Please help. Love you. First of all, love you too. Your that English is not great, but you know why I love you. <laughs> you know I love you, innit? Do you know what? Honestly speaking, as somebody who was in that position, because I I'll keep saying it, I was very dead before. <laughs> I, I was very ugly looking before and it, it was genuine because I didn't know how to put myself together. Mm-hmm. Sis, you probably don't dress like your friends. You're probably not doing your hair. You're probably not doing your makeup. And I've also thought... <laughs> like, no, I'm serious. No, And you know the worst thing about it is back then when I used to... Remember, I used to come and do the glitter eyeshadow and yes. these things there. I used to think I looked nice. When I look back on some of my pictures now, I cringe because I'm just like, how did I even think this was acceptable? Sometimes it's about getting your money up and, and, and really just, you know what, going to go and pay that extra money to, to that hairstylist that's going to do your let hair me, well. Let me say this. Let me say this. I get that. I get all the, 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 the outward appearance needs to be done. But I feel like, obviously, she said that she's become very insecure. I feel like, sis, when you start loving yourself, you need to fix yourself first and how you feel about mm-hmm. yourself. Because the thing is, is that maybe there have been times where guys have been looking at you, but you probably didn't believe that they could possibly want a woman like you. Mm-hmm. Because you're not feeling that, you're not feeling confident, you're not feeling good about yourself. So I feel like you need to focus on yourself and then it comes into making your making sure you look good taking yourself out on on pamper days mm-hmm. getting your nails done getting your hair done learning how to do makeup the best thing i did sometimes like in your in your spare time just sitting down going on youtube watching tutorials on how to do your eyebrows how to do your thing and buying makeup looking looking like a whole new person it just builds your self confidence it builds your self esteem because the thing is let me tell you something about these situations is that when you start relying on the affirmation of men taking you out for yeah. you to then feel beautiful and they don't, you start to feel more insecure, you start it's, to feel yeah. more ugly. Yeah. So I would say in order to build confidence, I would say, sis, take yourself out. If, if you know that your friends are going on, uh, g- going out on dates, take yourself on a date. We were just talking about taking yourself on a holiday. Mm. Go on a holiday, wear your hot pants, make sure that you are, your swimming costume is tucked inside your bum cheeks let your bum cheeks hang and take those pictures on instagram let the men go oh for you yes mm. take yourself out to do your makeup go and wear some sexy just for yourself i used to go to the theater i used to take myself on theater days i'd go to theater then i would go and have burger lobster i would cross my leg and i would enjoy myself mm. when i started doing that for myself no stupid idiot can take me to to any stupid place that i haven't taken myself already mm. do you know what i'm saying and then you shouldn't envy your friends because they're in talking stages every month. Because at the end of the day, why can't your man? Why can't your friends keep their man? Hmm? Talking stage, every, talking stage every month with Facts. a new, with a new man every month. Fact. And you want to say that that's a good thing? But honestly, if, for me, again, it's it's like it can sound one kind, but honestly, putting aside that money for yourself and just really reinventing yourself. Yeah. Even down to maybe you might even buy maybe five new pieces just to build your wardrobe, mm-hmm. to switch things up. Once you, you know, some there's that, having not noticed that when you go out and you buy a whole new outfit and you mm-hmm. wear that outfit, do you not step a bit different? You do, but the thing is why, why, I'm, why I'm saying what I'm saying is because we, I don't want to equate the fact that a woman is insecure to her not looking good because there are a lot of beautiful women mm. and there are a lot of women who dress nice and say the right thing but they're still insecure they're still insecure and, I, and are still not getting man i feel like mm-hmm. yeah the first if if you're already stuck in something mm-hmm. yeah and you're in this place where you're not feeling the best and you feel like you're 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 feeling insecure one of the first things, you can't automatically just say, today I'm going to stop being insecure. Mm, you, have it's to a take, process. you have to take certain actions. You have to take you start that process. From how I, because remember, I was in the same place. Mm-hmm. How I done mine was, all right, I wrote out a list. What are all the things that are going to make me feel better? I started cool with my outside appearance, but while I'm starting with my outside appearance, I'm also working on myself. I realized as I was doing my nails, as I was doing my wax, as I was doing my hair, I just started to get happier and yes. happier. I then done my eyelashes. By the time I finished my eyelashes like this, I had no makeup on my 
our face. I said, ah, I'm a fine babe. Oh. Side note, listen, you don't need to have a, a man to wax your pussy. Wax that shit off. Wha- Legit. And that's listen, what I'm saying. Li- a lot wax of it off. Things. You don't need to be having sex to wax your pussy. Wax it. <laughs> wax the everything. The outside appearance, yeah, doesn't have to be based on you're doing this for this guy to notice you. You're doing it for yourself. I promise you, you're going to step a lot different once you feel like you've given yourself a personal makeover. You will notice your confidence go up and then you do more things with your confidence that's when you go on the solo trips that's when you take yourself out on a date yeah you're not going to take yourself out on a date when you feel like you're looking bummy because on a normal date with a guy you dress up so dress up for that date mm, and take yourself and out on take the date. yourself out yes baby it's yeah. all about the self-love man don't ever let a man tell you that you need to look or be a certain way you look great tell yourself that you look good look into that mirror right now and tell yourself that you're the baddest motherfucking bitch i'm and a let, bad and, bitch and believe it but okay next question i've been saving up for a bbl and i'm determined to get one but everyone around me isn't supportive do you want to go for this or should I? I'm going to go for it. Go on. I'm going to go for it. Honestly, I have a love-hate with BBLs. It all depends on why you're getting it. If you're getting it because you feel like it solves the insecurity that you have, I don't recommend you getting it. If it's because you're already confident and maybe you want to have a nip and tuck or whatever, it's it's each to their own. Everyone has a body. But me personally, I don't stand for BBLs. And I had a situation where I went to Dominican Republic and I wanted to get a BBL and my surgery buddy died. Died because of um, complications with the surgery. She had a tummy tuck and she had a breast uh, lift and she had a, a tummy tuck, breast lift and BBL all on the same day. And sadly, she passed away. And it freaks me out so much that I didn't get mine. So I think that I don't like the glorification of them. I don't like how it's become a thing to be a certain shape that is just so unrealistic anyways. Most of BBLs that I've seen in person don't look nice. But I just feel like there's nothing that gym working out and feeling good about yourself i don't feel like god makes mistakes Mm. do you know what i mean i don't feel like we were brought on this earth to to have to do anything more than god has already given us Mm. i feel like society has made a standard of beauty that's unrealistic Mm -hmm. and i feel like it's disappointing because now we're all trying to follow the trend whereas we should be embracing what we have Mm. we should be embracing our beauty we should be embracing our certain our shapes and sizes i don't feel like there's one standard to beauty and everyone's trying to follow this one standard i feel like beauty is universal what is beautiful in the western world is not beautiful in in the in the depths of the earth do you know what i'm saying mm. there's some countries there's some villages that it's beautiful for a woman to be very very big because it means they have money so they'll gun so what they do is that they'd have their children and then they'd be feeding them cows um not cow's milk like a it's like a goat goat or bull's milk uh, extra fatty milk they'll go and fatten them fatten them very very well so the one that's more big and voluptuous they will marry that one because that means that woman is very very meaty whereas here we have to have a small waist and that so i feel like beauty is universal mm. but now everyone is trying to fit into one size fits all boy i feel like you've 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 changed what my answer would what have was been. it gonna be i mean if you want if you want that body to be doing same sh- <laughs> <laughs> if you want that body if you want if you want that waist to be doing i'm here for it because i honestly i feel like even down to how they make clothes now certain clothes do not suit girls certain clothes don't suit skinny girls mm-hmm. i'm talking as a skinny girl Mm-hmm. Like I took myself to You're the not gym, skinny bitch. babe. Not nah, like I don't know. Maybe it's that skinny mentality because I was yeah, very, you were skinny. very skinny. I was up, very yeah. very skinny. You know this, but so I, as I'm older now, I still feel like I'm skinny, mm-hmm. and I'm just noticing even down to you, you'll see an outfit on I don't know, PLT. You know, there's this this fit where it's like it'll come down like this. It will, it will cover the boobs and then the sides are open. We'll it will open. go down the middle. I saw that. Cinch. My G, those are BBL outfits. Those are BBL outfits. My breast will never to, hold uh, that um, kind of top. Um, those, uh, even like a, a, a strappy dress. Mm-hmm. Bodycon. I think up. any bodycon dress, people might disagree, but mm-hmm. any bodycon dress to me are BBL dresses. I don't think so. I'll tell you why I'm saying that. There's certain dresses that even how they're cinched, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like... Okay, I'll give you an example. Two girls walk into a motive. One has a BBL, one doesn't have a BBL. 
and you can see fupa and almost maybe the fupa and the bum is like the same size mm-hmm. do you know what i mean naturally how everyone else in the room is going to react you ain't looking at the babe with the fupa you might see one or two girls and what i notice is, is girls that, is girls that screw other girls body Someone might screw this person, blah, blah, blah. Even when we went out yesterday, the girl with the bouncing bum, she entered the thing. Did her eyes yeah, not go? Her bum was bouncing. Shit. Her bum was sitting. It was like, sitting. She had a shelf. And she the had thing a shelf. She wore a long sleeve, a long sleeve. Body and, con. A, and the, it was just. She didn't need to do too she didn't much. Need to do too her much bum was bouncing. Ooh, the bum done everything. The bum was the jewelry. The bum was there. It, it was, was the necklace. It was, it was everything. everything. Yeah, her bum was a and bounce. It, and the funny thing about it is there was a girl in another in a similar dress but her belly was doing and the body wasn't Maji. Everybody's eyes was following the baby with the with the BBL. The BBL is I feel like it's almost become that standard where I'm not saying oh that's why we should, we now need to go and do it because me personally I don't think I can go and do it myself. Again, your story even scared me mm-hmm. and I just feel like you know what maybe Jim if I bang Jim I can achieve the body that I want. And you can, yeah. But I just think overall the way society has become like how am I buying clothes and I'm and I'm mentally telling myself, yeah, I can't wear that. I ain't got a BBL. It, that's crazy. That's absolute and that's scary. And the thing is, I'm not the only person that thinks like this. There's two like BBLs have become that thing. Mm-hmm. But it's almost haven't you seen? There's even BBL squads now. Certain girls, it's only you can only roll with us if you have BBL or a natural looking body where the bum is bouncing, bouncing. like this. Like even it's guys, crazy. like I I've always said, if you want nowadays, I think the way society is even going. If you want to get married, you need to have a mini BBL. It has to be in between. Na- <laughs> uh, literally, I believe if there's natural and there's BBL, if to get married and keep your marriage, it has to be honestly no, in the middle. I don't, I don't a agree mini, with that. A mini BBL. I don't agree with that. I feel like there are a lot of natural, beautiful women who have the bodies, and because the thing is, BBL is is one section of society do you mm. think there's the, the white man billy with glasses and the open toe sandals he's is looking, looking for, for someone he's looking BBL. for a big booty bendy betty no he's not it's just our the, the current culture that we we are from, in yeah that's what except but that's why i'm excited outside, i'm and genuinely excited for my growth and to come out of this society where it's everything is so like superficial Small. yeah superficial yeah because that's what it is like i feel like i can't even date unless my body is doing 10 Anyways, out of 10 what i have to say to the girl is that do what makes you happy if people are not supportive take that into consideration but mm. since it's your life it's your body look at the pros as well as the cons don't think mm. it's all going to be honky dory i've heard some horror stories which we won't get into because of time, mm. but do what makes you happy. If you know that you want to do it, get it done, but make sure it's for the right reasons because if you're an insecure person, if you like b- t- look like Beyonce, you will still feel like you're an ugly person, Facts. which is why you need to get you need to sort yourself out from the inside out first if you're doing it because you don't feel yeah. good about yourself. But guys, that's actually time. We've even run over. We've even run over. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Honestly, Demi, you know I love you on this fucking show. Don't worry, you'll see her more. But guys, I want to say a big thank you. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. What is your takeaway for today? We want to know. Join the conversation. I love, love, love listening. Listening. I love reading your comments. And you guys are actually... I feel like one thing thing I love about my following here is they're fucking funny. They my are. followers are funny they are, they are. you not got comments. banter you not Cracking banter up. and i actually fuck with what guys listen like comment and subscribe and also leave a review on apple Podcasts as well we'd love to hear what you think but demi just say your social so they know my socials is miss dems on youtube i'm also a youtuber guys so please check me out on youtube Ow. you'll see a video of me and joyce on there we there watch it tell us what you think like i'm i want you not to be very interactive in the comments you know what i mean let mm-hmm. us know what you think let us know if you agree with me we both have different opinions but we're still clued up yeah I mean? yeah so guys check us out thank you for watching and that's miss dem she she all that title she still didn't say what it was right, yeah miss dem <laughs> <She did. laughs> guys i love you honestly thank you so much we go again next week wednesday bye bye madam joyce and we <laughs>